Hello there. Today we are going to talk about the concept of sustainable farming based on the hydroponic system. As you can see here, sustainability requires that you use the available resources. Here we are using uh, uh, wasted water bottles or used water bottles and as you can see we are growing our lettuce. If we talk about sustainability, it means that we have to find materials that are readily available for uh, us in the environment and we will be able to grow plants, especially leafy vegetables and uh, all other types of uh, plants, uh, tomatoes, based on uh, readily available materials, not really expensive materials. As you can see here, we're trying to show you how we're managing our farm based on uh, water bottles and also the materials used as a growing medium is uh, locally made. It's not a purchased uh, growing medium. Uh, here you can see the growth is very good. It's based on a, a simple concept. Uh, this is what we call the cracking method of hydroponics. And as you can see, here we have uh, uh, lettuce growing very well, but when you look closely at the growing medium we are using, we are using a, a carbonized rice husks uh, instead of using a other growing medium which requires uh, uh, the money to purchase. And uh, this is carbonized rice husk. You can also use uh, uh, wood chips. You can also use the uh, uh, corn comb. Uh, after carbonizing those items, you'll be able to get growing medium. Because you don't expect everyone to have access to uh, these other expensive uh, growing mediums. Uh, for example, um, cockpit uh, is quite expensive. So uh, we can locally make a growing medium based on readily available materials. For example, uh, the, the rice husk I talked about. Uh, so that's how it looks like when you uh, zoom uh, when you zoom the yeah, zoom in it looks uh, like that and uh, it, it is very easy to make you just uh, uh, I need to watch uh, my video on carbonize uh, carbonizing rice husks so uh, this is the future of farming and all this uh, uh, planting is based on uh, carbonized rice husks and uh, you can see here we have growth of uh, again lettuce a system which is very easy to make for you to uh, in, uh, to have uh, some uh, leafy vegetables for your family and uh, it's, it's quite good this is the future of farming because it doesn't require a lot of water it doesn't require too much land it doesn't require actually it doesn't require uh, uh, land that is big enough to accommodate uh, the, your planting. You just need very small space. As you can see, all these vertical towers are based on hydroponic farming and the, you can see the lettuce is coming out very well. It is growing and uh, uh, these, are, these are vertical towers. Here we have over 500 uh, plants uh, on these vertical towers and they they are growing very very well they are coming out they are not based on uh, on on these other complicated uh, uh, growing medium they are based on rice husk and the uh, wood chips which we carbonized so this is the future of farming and uh, the land is not uh, expanding but the population is growing you don't expect uh, 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 the land to support the future uh, um, uh, population. So we need to uh, modernize or we need to reinvent uh, the way we do farming. So uh, the future of farming will require a lot of uh, a, uh, research and this is the research we are trying to do. You can see here again we have a crack method of, uh, of uh, farming using hydroponics. It doesn't require a pump, uh, but the vertical towers I shared, they, they are based on one pump. These towers, you can see some towers here. These are based on just one single pump, which is pumping water that irrigates at uh, uh, different intervals. 
Uh, the beauty of using a rice husk, it keeps a lot of uh, water for quite, uh, it keeps enough water for quite a long time compared to uh, these uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the growing medium. Uh, so if you try a uh, carbonized rice husk, you want to be great. So uh, in that regard, your plants uh, won't dry out. So this is the uh, another system. Again, it's being irrigated uh, by the same pump. Uh, then we have a simpler system over here, which is uh, based on a very small pump, but it gives very good results, as you can see. It is something you can do uh, as a weekend project. You, you can embark on and uh, make such a simple uh, project. You can watch my previous videos. There's another one here again. Uh, is, this is based on, um, again, our pump. Uh, it is saturate, saturating water. Water flows through the system and it goes back to the reservoirs. You can see at the bottom down there. And uh, yeah, this is the, the way to go. This is what we need to do to embrace future uh, farming. This is how you can make a simple wall garden for your family, for your home, uh, in order for you to save on uh, vegetables, uh, rather than purchasing vegetables uh, on, on a weekly basis uh, or daily, you better have such simple systems. Like this system is very simple to set up, very good. Uh, the growth is uh, very, 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 very uh, uh, good. You can see the growth is amazing here. Yeah, you, you, you have your, your farm based on a wall, a, the, the wall of a house. And these are water gutters, which we converted into uh, a growing a system. And uh, uh, you, 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 you have your plants growing uh, year in, year out. Uh, you can see the growth down uh, the low part is not good because of the sun. But these are some of the things we discover as we go along to grow our plants hydroponically. Uh, so uh, we need to embrace uh, the farming and we need to make sure that uh, we uh, adopt uh, different ways, easier ways. There are ways that don't need to require a pump. Like these systems, they don't need to require a pump. Uh, they don't need any pumping of water. Yeah, and they work out, they work, they come out nicely. So why not try it? So the future of farming is going to be based on the available materials. You can see these uh, uh, plastic cups, simple things to use, but not complicated gadgets that you need to purchase from some place. Uh, you just need to look around. Here we are using simple pipes and uh, uh, things that are readily available. And I think that is the meaning of sustainability because if uh, you keep buying expensive uh, uh, items, expensive systems, that's not sustainability. Sustainability is about using available resources and uh, to, uh, to be able to use the resources uh, throughout, uh, year in, year out. So this is the future we need to embrace. And uh, here we are using uh, um, vertical towers uh, based on outdoor. We intend to build what we call a greenhouse. And when we get into a greenhouse, we are uh, forced to get better results because here we sometimes get challenges with the rain, the vagaries of weather, rain, wind. Uh, but again, you can see growth is not so bad as you would expect. So let's embrace uh, the technology. You can see all these towers, as I said, are being powered by one pump. So you can have a 25 towers or plus being powered by one pump. Uh, you can see the connection we've made, our water flows up, then it goes back to the reservoir. There is a reservoir down there, and the uh, water keeps saturating. Of course, saturating water uh, is better uh, in the systems rather than uh, dormant or passive water. But again, uh, still things will really grow without uh, having water saturating 
in the system as i showed you in the cracker system so this is the future of farming and uh, we need to embrace it thank you very much follow for more